My good buddy CJ and I were talking about Super Bowl and how it's so much fun to just throw a party with fun little, little, little nibs. Little bits of nibbage. Little bits of nibbage. Today I'm gonna show you guys something really fun, quick and simple. It's a bit of a mashup recipe. I'm gonna show you a bacon cheeseburger flatbread that is perfect for game day. To get started, I am gonna work on my bacon first. I've had my uh, Blackstone preheating at low. I'm gonna bring it up to medium, maybe medium low. We wanna take our time with our bacon. I'm using thick cut bacon. I wanna kinda go low and slow because we want crispy bacon and we want all of that beautiful rendered bacon fat as Ryan Hoagland, by the way, it's called Hoagland, not uh, Hoagland. 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 Big fan of yours. Uh, Hoagland said, I call them little friendly fat, or he made some Bob Ross comment. Huh. We want beautiful bacon is what I'm saying. Oh. Hey guy. How you oh, yeah. oh how you right, doing? Right into Fraser territory. <laughs> how you doing? That's that one's six feet under the ground, bro. Nah, that was great. While that bacon is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and take some sweet yellow onion and dice it up nice and small. Onions and beef together are just some kind of crazy magic mixed into the bacon fat. Unbelievable. Speaking of bacon fat, I think our bacon looks done. A little well, extra done, huh. if you ask me. It's, but you know uh, what? That's fine. It's fine. CJ's here. It's it's an appropriate. My my skills rub off on him. His Thanks. skills rub off on me sometimes. Hey there, fellas. Hey, to be fair and honest, that's fine actually because we're gonna mix it in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Crispy bacon covers a multitude of things. Bacon sends. So let's do our beef first. So I'm using 80/20 beef. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this right into our bacon fat. There we go. And we're gonna chop that up with our spatula. Uh, we want this to cook for just about a minute or so. Then we're gonna add our onions, mix everything together, hit that with just a bit of our bootleg burger, and we're off to the races. All right, that's looking good. Now this doesn't take very long once you chop up your beef. Uh, they cook pretty fast. I've got my bacon, Fraser bacon. Does that hurt your feelings when I say that, bud? Um, so two things, one, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two, I'm also celebrating inside that you burnt the bacon. Here's the thing. For yeah, this recipe, good excuse. for this recipe, crispier the better, even slightly on the extra well done Fraser side is fine. I'm gonna pick up all these, bud. Here we go. Okay. Over the beef. We're gonna mix all of that in. Should I just go and start adding stuff? Yeah. Let's start adding stuff. All right. Uh, we're gonna add a bit of ketchup a bit of mustard and some sweet relish over the top and mix all of that in. This is basically where all of our flavor from our cheeseburger, our bacon cheeseburger comes from. Now once you're all mixed in, we can go ahead and pull it to the cool side of our black stone. Now it's time to start working on our flat bread. These little stone fire non bread, these things are awesome. Uh, you've seen CJ use these on his show a few times. Actually, almost, almost burnt one the other day that you saved for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, two or one? Well, there's two of us. You need a whole flatbread? Mm, okay. 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 All right, so I'm gonna go down. We can bring some of that bacon back if we want. Uh, sometimes if your Blackstone, like mine, isn't quite perfectly even, bring some of that bacon fat. I mean, we have it. We might as well use it. So let's give a nice little rub. We're gonna toast our presentation side first. Now, while that's toasting, we can make a fun little drizzle sauce. Drizzle sauce? Drizzle sauce. Drizzle sauce. A sauce with drizzle, so essentially. Did you learn that at the CIA? Mm -hmm. I did. Excellent. So we're gonna go mayo, sriracha, that little bit of heat's gonna go a long way with that sweet relish, and some ketchup. Now I do wanna thin this out because I want the sauce to be a bit drizzly, so whatever beer you have on hand, whatever you're drinking, go ahead and use that to thin it out so we have a drizzly sauce. Drizzly sauce. Drizzly. Drizzly. You know what, spoon is not gonna work here because of texture. So we're gonna go to a whisk. Whisk is your friend, my friend. Let's check on our flatbreads, make sure we're not burning these beauties. Oh, ho, ho. we're looking beautiful. Looking gorgeous. You know, I feel, I feel good about where we are. Let's okay. build. All right. We're gonna start with just a little bit of cheese down on our flatbreads and take some of that beautiful bacon cheeseburger mix right over the top. We're gonna coat that with quite a bit more cheese uh, and then we're gonna cover it. Let's cover it and let all that cheese melt so when you look at it and it's beautiful and melty, it's game time, it's eating time, it's all, it's all the times. Okay, we've got crust integrity, is that what you call it, bud? That's the technical term. Wow, 
Can we settle this once and for all? Okay. It's not a flatbread pizza. It, it would be a pizza flatbread. Uh, that's not settling it. I'm gonna take that sauce oh. and we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it magical. <laughs> You're gonna make we're it a flatbread ha pizza. Happy little sauce. Just happy little happy sauce. Happy little sauce. Come on. Come on. Buddy. Dude. Are you ready for this? Yes. Should but we? You... What? No, 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 no. What? I'm gonna cut it. It really does need one more thing. I'm not post testing oh, on this. You most I don't need certainly a post are. Dust. No. I need to taste it before. Let me taste it, and if it needs a post dust, then I'll post dust. Good crust integrity. Mm. All the flavors, no post dust necessary. Whoa. All the. Mm. Can you hear a quark? Of course I did. Dude. It's everything I love about a bacon cheeseburger and a flatbread. Do you want to try it before you post us? Well, I mean, Here. it's never let me down before. Post dust, if you must. And we all do know that I must. It's good looking flatbread. Hang on, you're pointing down here. Hey. You know what? It would have been good without the dust. Yeah. But the post dust is a must. Uh -huh. Just to play fair. A little post dust of that McLeod burger. Dude, plus it's just visually more Okay. Exciting. And if you're gonna go through all the trouble to make something in case beautiful, might as well look beautiful. You're starting to sound like me. Now wow. I'm starting to sound like you. What's ha- Whoa. If you haven't watched CJ's show on our channel, be sure to go and do that. Click the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon. Catch Todd's show, Betty's show, Bruce's show, Destination Delicious. But this is Cookie Repeat where we help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I was looking for something else to <laughs> post dust or burn, I don't know. <laughs> Been hanging out with CJ too long. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I'll see you all in the next video. You're welcome.